Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Foxes Den. It's your boy Foxy. We're getting into another episode of Chainsaw Man, episode five. Last episode was really good. I mean, this show is just fucking hilarious, and it's it's action packed pretty much every episode. So, I know you guys are enjoying it. I'm fucking loving it. And uh, yeah, we're getting into episode five. And by the title of it, this shit mm, is gonna be interesting. It's called Gun Devil. So there's a devil that is called Gun Devil. So. I don't know, but I think it might have to do with guns, man. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what this episode's all about. Last episode was really good. You know, we finally learned that we yeah, we officially saved power in Yaoi. Uh, they're happily safe. And, uh, you know, Denji went in a little bit more against the Bat Devil's girlfriend. And uh, eventually he was saved by Hayakawa and the Fox Devil. You know, he got to the hospital, he got healed up, and then they're back at home. You know, Denji's been living with Hayakawa for a while now. But now it looks like Power is going to be joining them. And uh, we'll see how that dynamic uh, works out for them as roommates. Because uh, obviously they were pissed as fuck at first because she's so, you know... She don't eat vegetables, she's throwing shit. She don't fucking... She clogs the toilet, she fucking doesn't bathe often. It's like, bro, we're gonna have to like literally teach her from scratch, which is kind of kind of like what Denji was at like at first too. You, you you know you're seeing the trend here with these individuals that are being sent to Hayokawa's place to live, um, and then at the end uh, we see that Denji's finally getting his wish to fondle Power's chest. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe I mean uh, they were getting a little you know spicy there at the end, so maybe we'll see that actually play out. And that's gonna be interesting too if this if they continue to have like a kind of transactional relationship. In this in this uh, fashion, where you know he uh, you know gets rewarded by finally her chest if he does something for her, blah blah blah. You know <laughs> what's that gonna be like for Hayakawa? Like you know they're just fucking like in the bathroom having the time of their fucking lives, and Hayakawa is just like listening to it in his bed. Like, oh uh, dude, I can only imagine the like the 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 situations that are gonna arise from from them living together. So this is it's already like I'm just thinking about all the hilarious possibilities this show is so funny without further ado let's get into the episode if you guys enjoy the reaction please leave a like down below comment and subscribe if you're new there's plenty more on the way let's get it all right yep we're still in the bathroom <laughs> denji you gonna go <laughs> you gonna dive in Is that like a bra cup that just fell out? Oh. <laughs> He's like hard to destroy after the first grab. I feel like she was like really playing the character at first and then at the end right there she was actually starting to like it and she was like, okay, we're done! <laughs> this is gonna be funny, dude. That's girl power, dude. I like how Meowie's just so used to just fucking jump, like lunging at, um, Pat. Dude, he's frozen. This man has no idea what he just experienced. <laughs> He was still he was stuck there like this. Boobs. <laughs> Look at her ass, dude. Oh my fucking god, dude. I fucking I fucking love when she's like she's just knocked right now, dude. She's just slumped. A beautiful star. Yeah, I did a beautiful star. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, dude, this show is like, this show just like gets me like in a good mood. Like, it's just so, f bro, this man is still bewildered from the titties, bro. Do y'all see, do y'all see the power of a woman's body? Holy shit. <laughs> still. It's been the whole next day, and my man is still thinking about it. Oh, man. Women are powerful. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot on his mind. Specifically, two tits. 
two fucking titties, bro. Damn, so it was kind of a letdown for him? Damn! <laughs> Denji's getting blessed today, bro! <laughs> it's not just boobs, Denji. It's not just boobs. <laughs> she just casted a spell on him like shit, dude. <laughs> oh, the moment of truth. Look at him, he's... The prophecy. <laughs> Yo, this dude, Denji, is fucking geeks, bro. <laughs> this girl is good, <laughs> bro. She is fucking. She said she did all that. She's like, bet. I got a request. Oh, an actual bounty. Okay. <laughs> bro, if he takes that out, nah, dude. Oh my god. Yes, process it. Think about it. Yes, she said anything. Anything. Wow, okay. I feel like that's kind of a nod to, um, like, gun violence in America, like, right now, and then also, um, that looked like one of the Twin Towers right there, but that might, that might be reaching a little bit. Oh, is this a uh, Hayakawa when he was younger? Classic siblings when they're young as fuck. He probably he probably regrets this a lot. Well, maybe they start getting along before he loses his family, but... I, I, f I feel... I, I'm pretty sure the older brother is Hayakawa. Yeah, he's a... Okay, yeah. See, he, he, he's, a, he's a good brother. It's just him struggling with his own, like, things of, like, wanting more attention from his parents, but his parents have... Or more focused on the younger brother because he has, I guess he has some kind of condition or, I don't know, maybe he gets sick often or something. Um, you know. I was just having a happy time looking at this fucking family and the whole house was... 1.2 million people in under five? What the fuck just happened? Dude, what the fuck was that? I didn't know that was going to lead into the story that Makima was talking about. I thought we were just all of a sudden getting a flashback of Hayakawa. Well, with the fucking proposition you gave him, he's going to do whatever he has to. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Wait, any devil? Oh, 
強い悪魔だからねこの肉片がある程度の大きさになれば元の体の場所に戻ろうとするみたいだからこの肉片をもっと大きくすれば十の悪魔にたどり着く悪魔は全部殺す This is why he has such a strong conviction to take care of devils like bro that happened so fast what the fuck Alright, squad! Is squad pulling up? Let's go! Wait, she was talking in past tense right there, so some of these some of these members die right here? Uh, that's right, he's still teaching him. Oh, they're both manners. <laughs> you get a piece of gum if you fucking. <laughs> Dude, they're literally like dogs. Like fucking Luna over here. I've been training her, bro. You use positive reinforcement. You want them to do something? You finally get them to do it? You reward them with a treat. In this case, it's gum. <laughs> Shit is so funny, bro. こいつらに背中を任せない。悪魔駆除には基本この二人を先行させる。あれはいたずらレベルじゃねえ。殺すぞ。怖っ。何があったの？悔しくして悪魔と交わそうだよ。今回の悪魔を倒した人にはなんと
So wait, uh, that girl Hinema, or I think her name is like Hinema, or something like that. She does she use some like, some some sort of telekinesis right there? Is that like her like power or something? That's my ability, yeah. With Ghost Devil. <laughs> Power's really testing these. <coughs> her superiors. She's really testing her superiors. Oh, they're already in a, some sort of trap or something. They already passed that. That's what, that's the blood from earlier. They're in some sort of hallucination. Oh. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? They're in some sort of like illusion, illusion or something. Is it the gun devil's doing or is it someone else's doing? There's no way that's the end of the episode. That's the end? Fuck! Bruh. Alrighty, guys. What another amazing episode of Chainsaw, man. That was really interesting. I, that, that was a crazy cliffhanger. I was not expecting it to end there at all. Uh, so good thing I guess we got, you know, one more episode to watch. Thank God. But yeah, as we saw in this episode, Denji officially uh, groped Power's chest. And yeah, he was really enjoying himself in the moment. And uh, it looked like it looked like she was like really like playing the character at first. Like she was like... She was kind of like, oh, it feels so good. Oh, my God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it seemed like she was just, like, playing the part at first. But I feel like towards the end, she was low-key liking it for some reason. Like, because it, it looked like she was kind of blushing and her, her tone sounded a little bit more nervous and like, like okay, let's hurry this up type thing. Because she, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I might be reaching right there, but it seemed like she was kind of liking what was going on towards the end of that. Um, and that's why she ended it so quickly uh, after that. Um, and then Denji, he was bewildered for like 24 hours after that. He was like, oh, you know, um, and maybe it was because of the stipulations that, uh, power put in place where, cause like he was saying, like he was talking to Makima whenever he was signing those documents, he was like, you know, I finally got what I wanted and it, and it, it didn't really, um, feel like I wanted it to, like, it was kind of a letdown is what he was saying. You know, maybe it was because of the stipulations that she put in place, like power, since it was only like three squeezes, like he, he couldn't truly do what he wanted to do or whatever. And it was short lived. So maybe that why that's like one of the big reasons why it was a letdown. Um, but he was starting to think like, man, like, you know, maybe my dream is like kind of like whack or, you know, like if I, if I, if I want something in the future, is it going to continue to let me down? Like he was starting to like get a little discouraged and, um, Makima was like, what's, what are, what are you, what, what, what exactly are you talking about that let you down? Like what happened? And then, uh, he was, he, he just went on to explain to like, I finally touched a girl's boobs and like, it was kind of a letdown, blah, blah, blah. And then she continues to wrap him around her finger and you know quickly like sh like explains to him like it's it's all about like emotion and how much you know the person like touching them you know knowing the length of their fingers and, and touching their their ear and you know like she like bit her, his finger and whatnot like you know like really like kind of like you know it's not like it's not so much cut and dry of just like touch 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 like he did with power there's a lot of like you know like seducing that goes into it and 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 like playfulness like i guess like foreplay uh, where that sort of activity becomes a lot more enjoyable and a lot, a lot more interesting because it's, uh, you know, you're just having fun. You're kind of being unpredictable. And that's, uh, definitely what Makima was showing Denji right there. Like Denji was like all sorts of nervous and like, oh my God, what is happening? Like, you know, he's never experienced something like that before. Um, and so he like falls on the ground. He's like, uh, what's happening? <laughs> you know, he's like in a fucking daze. Like he's just having the time of his life. And uh, she, that's when she proposes to him. All right, you know, I want you to do something for me. And if you do this, you can do whatever you want with me. 
that's a big fucking proposition because immediately his mind's going to all the dirty shit and he's like oh my god i, I can do whatever i want like you know he, he's probably like dude, he's probably gonna get his chance to fucking sleep with her that's, that's what he's thinking at least that's like what i would assume you know because that's like pretty much his goal is like you know a woman's body you know at first it was just breasts and now he was kind of let down by that first experience is just breast so where do you go from there you go to third base dog you fucking do the deed so that's what i'm assuming um uh, is what he's thinking about and uh, that is definitely hyping him up especially with uh, Makima you know teasing him right there and also explaining to him like yeah you can do whatever you want whatever you want and rightfully so because she wants him to take care of this gun devil which the whole squad is there to um, support in you know it can't just be denji so obviously they're sending the whole squad to get on the tail of the like track this gun devil down and then hopefully take care of it because apparently this gun devil is absolutely ridiculous like it's been around for 13 years it first appeared in america because of like a um a terrorist attack that happened which i feel like they were kind of giving a nod to 9-11 but i'm not exactly sure because it looked like you know it's a tall ass building fucking smoke you know whatever that could be I'm not there that might be reaching a little bit but i do feel like they were definitely g giving a nod to like gun violence in america because that's a big thing in uh the u.s especially in the last like what like decade or two like gun violence has just rose through the fucking roof whether it's kids shooting up schools because they have no fucking proper guidance from their parents like their parents do not pay attention to them at all that's what i feel like a lot of the cases are like you know like this kid is bullied in school he doesn't have any friends uh he hates his fucking life and his parents don't really fucking give him any guidance to know how to handle that like you know if someone's bullying you go tell somebody you know i don't give a fuck if it's called snitching or not like go tell somebody it will stop it in that moment which in in turn might uh you know hype the kids up more to do even more worse shit but that's where like you have to also learn how to deal with it yourself whereas like if it, if you're telling somebody that still doesn't work okay you need to learn how to just walk away from it or or be the bigger person and find something that really puts them on a lower pedestal than you like find something that like you know like i'm saying you know what i'm saying like you, if you can be smarter with your words um or even like if they're getting physical and you just beat their fucking ass i'm pretty sure they're not gonna bother you again but like you don't need to bring a gun into this so that's what i'm saying like i feel like a lot of those like gun incidents with uh schools and kids have to do with what's going on at home and the guidance that they're receiving because you know obviously they're not receiving any guidance and there's no real actual environmental guidance because there's a fucking gun in the house and somehow that kid takes it to school so you know what i'm saying like shit like that this episode when they were talking about the whole gun thing and how the gun devil came about i feel like that was definitely a nod at just gun violence in general in america because it's definitely something that needs to be looked at there needs to be stricter laws i don't feel like guns should be taken away completely completely but there definitely needs to be some more education uh and and proper guidance when it comes to firearms more important um repercussions after shit like that happens uh because it shouldn't be happening happening at all that's why there needs to be more education about it and uh proper guidance for kids specifically or young people that are using guns um and then even older people that are using guns like you don't point it at somebody that's like one of the simplest rules of fucking using a gun I, i've never shot a gun in my life but gathering from like everybody else and like you know like my my uncles my my dad they used to hunt when they were kids you know what i'm saying like it's you know it gun culture used correctly or used in different ways isn't always bad like hunting is a big thing and those you know you use guns when you're hunting but um that's what i'm saying you gotta have the proper guidance like you know like my granddad taught my uncles and my dad all of them okay this is what you use when we're going to uh hunt for deer but you never, ever point this at somebody. Never point it at somebody. Always keep your finger off the trigger. You know, like you know, simple things like that. So I feel like I feel like this episode definitely took a nod at just like gun violence in general in America, because that's definitely uh, on the news a lot. It seems like in the past like fucking decade or two, you know, every once in a while. I mean, there was just a shooting at University of Virginia like last week like some i think like some like ex-football player on the team he killed like he killed like three of the football football team members uh and then two other were injured and i don't know the whole story about it but it, from what i heard it sounded like he was kicked off the team or you know something and he just that's the way he took it out it's like bro what are you are you stupid like it's just so it's so unfair to other people so that's why like the there does need to be stricter laws and like way better education and guidance on 
on how to handle guns because you know that guy he took it to the most extreme route if he has no guidance with fucking guns he was just thinking in his head yeah oh you kicked me off the team all right bet i'm gonna kill you like what like bro it's just so uh i don't know but enough talking about that i feel like that's what that one little scene uh talking about how the gun devil came up was nodding at though it's just gun violence in general in america which is kind of funny um not not the violence funny but like funny that they're um put it taking a nod at that you know what i'm saying and kind of giving awareness about it in, in this episode uh very interesting and uh we learned that the gun devil like we saw a little flashback with hayakawa and his family and how they uh you know had the had their untimely demise i mean he literally had him and his younger brother outside of the house he was kind of you know like oh you're annoying like stop following me you know like classic like sibling shit like if you have like a good you know couple years difference in you like like it was the same thing with me and my sister like when we were like little ass kids if if she did something to me like it was fucking war bro like i was not fucking with her like it was like i i was literally so annoyed with her when i was a little kid like if she did like literally anything like just coming into my room and just like like it was just you know it's just like you love each other but like it, when you're little kids like that like it's like you're always like butting heads and when you do it's like fucking war but like then eventually like you grow up like once i got in high school and she got into like middle school was about to get into high school like we started like really just be like we're close as fuck now like we're li like we're like tight like really good friends but we're brother and sister so that was just a classic display of that and then eventually he was like oh okay go get your gloves you know like mom because you know, they started snowball fighting a little bit and like he was like mom and dad are gonna get pissed at me if you get sick so go get your gloves let's actually play with the ball instead of you know playing in the snow and shit and he was all excited and so that's what sends him back into the house and then all of a sudden the house is just fucking demolished from and who knows how far away like Makima said that that gun devil killed 1.2 million people in under five seconds what the fuck is that hello like nah that shit was crazy so we, we learned about the gun devil how it came about and what it did there a little bit about a hayakawa's past and uh, also a little bit about that other um bureau member ha i think her name's hanima i think something like that and she's the one with the eye patch and the ghost devil contract saw a little bit of a flashback with her standing at somebody's grave uh and that older fellow who has that voice actor that i love so much and that's when i guess her and hayakawa first met and she was like don't die hayakawa like don't die because uh she's already she already lost like six like partners like that that was her six like the grave that she was at that was the sixth one you know what i'm saying so that, like, that's a lot to go through saw a little bit of that and then we finally saw um towards uh, getting into this building or hotel or whatever you know building they're in that they're trying to find this gun devil they're trying to track it down and i'm assuming maybe the catalyst for this illusion that they're in was that 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 like uh like head that was walking around uh maybe the gun devil was controlling it i mean there was no pieces of it in that thing so they're like ah that's nothing but maybe that's like what started this illusion thing i'm not really sure but that's like what they're currently in they're kind of like walking up and down the stairs and they keep on coming to the same floor so it's like, what the fuck is like? They're like trying to figure it out, and that's where the episode ends. But Hanima also hyped up power and um, Denji again with like motivation, like, oh, uh, whoever you know does this, um, you'll get a kiss on the cheek. And then like Denji was like, well, I already have a fucking pr proposition for Makima, and it's way fucking better. And I've learned that emotional connection is what um, really makes this shit feel. Uh, as amazing as it does and uh he was like i don't even know your name like i'm not gonna kiss you obviously and then and then she comes up and whispers in his ear like what about a french kiss and then he's like oh shit <laughs> and then he's like all hype like walking through the hotel so that's where we left off at that was a really cool episode that was a good one and, and the cliffhanger was absolutely insane so obviously we're gonna get into the next one so excited but uh yeah that's gonna do it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction Please leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed and what you think. And subscribe if you're new. There's plenty more on the way. I'll see you all in the next one. We're getting into episode six. Deuces.